to my channel. It has been a while. I feel like I say that every video that it's been a while, but this time it kind of has been a while. Just because of school and everything, I kind of took a little hiatus from YouTube, but now we are back. And you might say, Stephanie, what is this place you're in? I've never seen this background before. What are these weird thingies? I have moved, or I'm in the process of moving into my own apartment. So today I was just gonna show you guys like a haul of different home decor slash like just random things that I needed that I picked up in the past couple, two or three weeks. So let's get started. First up is this handy dandy little utensil holder, which Haley convinced me to get because I could not make a decision. I know, Stephanie not being able to make decisions, totally unlike me, right? <laughs> so this one was $12.99. I think it's really nice. I like it a lot. There was also one that was like straight up, but I thought I really like this like curve, this little curved feature. I feel like more can fit in it that way. But it'll just be for like pasta spoons, spatulas, that kind of stuff. Next in the kitchen area, we have this paper towel holder, which was also for $12.99. So this is kind of basic, but honestly, it's not really something that's going to be integral to my decorative design, so it's, it's not really a big deal. I just got basic like silver color, go with anything. Next, oh, both of those things were from Old Time Pottery. I love that place, it is so fun. I could get lost in there for hours, honestly. Okay, this next thing was $6.99. Seems a little expensive, but it's from Hobby Lobby, so there you go. Um, it's gonna be Chloe's cat treat, cat treat little container. I thought this part was really cute. I just like the little, you know, I've been watching a lot of organizing videos, so I've been really into like, wanting to get like little jars and things to put stuff in. Honestly, sometimes it's just kind of useless. When the food or whatever doesn't fit in the container all the way, you still have to store the extra so you don't waste it. I don't understand people. That's really satisfying. It's really satisfying. Next up is this really cute cow mug. I love it so much. Does it, does it say move somewhere? No, it don't say that. But it was only $5. I was like, I gotta get that. That's a snag. And I need some more mugs because you gotta drink chocolate milk out of something, right? <laughs> Next for the kitchen stuff, this was only $8. I wanted myself some tongs, just like a medium size. So I'm probably gonna use these, this one the most. And this one, it'll just go in my cabinet somewhere and maybe I'll use it one day or I'll give it to my mom, who knows. But they're really cute. They got these like little um, crossy cross designs. Uh, pink and black and white. So, I thought those were real cool. Next up is this tennis racket. I'm just kidding, it's not a tennis racket. You push it through, and it's a strainer. Ain't that cool? It was only $2.99. I was like, girl, we gotta snag this one. It's real cool. Because, I mean, just like storing it, that's so easy to store. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Don't have to worry about all the space it takes up when it's like this. And honestly, I don't really need nothing fancy. It's just gonna strain my noodles, you know? Next is gonna be this cutting board that was $10, but it was half off. So it was only $5. There was two cutting boards. There is this one and then another one with like flour, sugar, that kind of stuff. But I really like the aesthetic of this one, just like the green and the white and the different plants. It's just, or spices, the spices are plants, I guess. But it's like labeled, it labels like all the little spices so you know what they look like. I mean, I don't need to know what they look like. I just get them from the little spice containers. We don't really do fresh here, so it's fine. I got these Mr. Clean latex reusable gloves that I'm going to try to open. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Look blue. Size medium. Sorry, the background's really loud. I know my fridge is like very, very loud and I don't have like lamps and stuff yet, so I don't have like lighting in my room and all that. 
we're, we're working on it. Here they are. And cleaning gloves. Probably just use this for like cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen, that kind of stuff. Okay. This was also from Old Time Pottery, if you can see. So I guess I could open it. <laughs> it's like this. I don't have any scissors yet, so I can't cut it. But yeah, just a little dustpan and a little sweeper. Because I don't really have a lot of hardwood floor in here, so I don't really need a big broom or anything. Next up, I got this from Ross, and it's only $5. It's just a clear shower liner. I just needed a new one because mine was dirty. I didn't feel like cleaning it, so... I'm just gonna get five dollar one. This was also from Old Time Pottery. It's just a nice vase. There's, Nick likes to get me flowers, so I might as well get myself a vase. <laughs> okay. I've been really wanting. Oh, <laughs> been really wanting a circle mirror, guys. And here we are. Oh, inset. Wait, that looks really cool. Anyways. <laughs> So yeah, I've been really wanting a circle mirror. Oh, I just have fingerprints on it, I'm sorry. I've been really wanting a circle mirror. And so this one hangs up like this. I feel like I like this hanging method a lot more than just hanging this. Because first off, this gives aesthetic. Secondly, I don't, I don't trust myself to hang something up stable-wise like this. So I like that I can put something strong right here and then it'll be fine. And this one, is from Home Goods, Abby's old stomp ground. She used to work there. And it was only $25. And if you look on Amazon, like all of the mirrors this size are like 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. So I was really happy to get that deal. Now we're gonna look at some cute little wall decor stuff. I think I think Sarah gave these to me just because she didn't want them anymore, or I don't know, somewhere else, I don't know. <laughs> but I've had them just sitting in my car for a little bit. So this one says she believes she could, so she did. The polka dots on the side, it's just like a little box and you can just hang up. That was cute. <laughs> and then it says he makes me brave. But this one's pretty easy to hang too, just little holes right here. And I really like this because I really like, I've been trying to like include wood in a lot of things. I just think things look more earthy when they're like woody and rustic kind of thing. So, next I've got this from Cracker Barrel. This was $12.99, and it's my white girl kitchen sign. <laughs> it says, a recipe for happiness, four cups of love, a pinch of patience, two barrels of laughter, a heaping spoonful of kindness, and a grateful heart. Ain't it cute? I was like, dude, I gotta get that, gotta get that. Oh, next thing is actually the thing I'm sitting on. I got this from at home and it's just this chair actually I don't know how much it was I think it was like 30 I think it was 30 or something like that I don't remember but Nicholas had to chase a worker down in order to find it um, it was actually pretty funny the worker just wanted he wanted to keep flirting with his little co-worker but Nick was trying to get this price so he didn't chase him around the store anyway I really like it. There's a gray one and a white one, and it took me about 20 minutes to decide what color I wanted. And it's real comfy too. It's actually for like under the little vanity part in my bathroom because there's like a just a space and then like a little drawer. So there like is a vanity in there. So I just put this right under. I hope you really enjoyed this haul. I'm super excited for all the DIY projects here, and I cannot wait to get started. Bye. Mm. Well, that's. <laughs> See?